Welcome back to our special on the 2022 Shaw Prize. The co-winners of the Mathematical Sciences Award are Ehud Rushovsky and Noga Alon, two remarkable Israeli prize winners for their contribution to discrete mathematics, model theory, algebraic geometry, and computer science. Professor Noga Alon starts every day with some exercises he learned in the Israeli army. He says he doesn't get many ideas about mathematics during his workouts, but the daily routine brings a certain clarity of thought. The exercise, I think, uh, help you uh, to stay alert and to stay awake, and, uh, and maybe it, uh, being not being sleepy helps you to focus or to concentrate uh, more. The Israeli-born mathematician earned his PhD in 1983 and spent most of his career at Tel Aviv University before joining Princeton in 2018. From early on, he liked the fact that something proven in math will last forever. It's not like a discussion on a on some, uh, say, political topic where everybody can have uh, uh, his or her own opinion, uh, but, uh, but really uh, the, the truth of something uh, stays forever. And, uh, uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, one thing that, uh, that I liked. His parents encouraged him and his brother to do anything they wanted, but insisted they had to be serious about it. It was one of his high school teachers that gave him the itch to study math. In the end of uh, high school uh, in Israel, uh, I had uh, a very special uh, uh, teacher. Uh, he was uh, a new immigrant that came from uh, Ukraine. Uh, and, uh, uh, and he was uh, teaching us uh, some more advanced material than, uh, than in school. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I followed it uh, enthusiastically. Michael Kravelovich has known Alon for 30 years as a PhD student, colleague, and collaborator. He says Alon mastered numerous fields in combinatorics and computer science. Unlike many people in theoretical mathematics, Noga has done also, has been doing actually quite amazing things which are of, uh, applied and pr practical value and some significant contributions like uh, streaming algorithms, analysis of streaming, or maybe some uh, algorithmic contribution or analysis of algorithms, they're uh, also of fairly practical value. Another colleague remembers how Alon reduced a 70-page proof down to just two pages. Which reminds me the story, I think it's uh, about, I think it's attributed to uh, Mark Twain, that he was asked to, to give a talk. And uh, they asked him, how long do you need to give the talk? So he uh, said that if I know the topic very well, so I can, should give a talk of, for one hour. If I'm an expert, then 20 minutes will be enough. And if I don't know anything about it, then I can speak as long as you want. So uh, Noga, in that sense, can give, expand everything in 20 minutes. He sees connections between subjects that nobody else sees. He, he understands algebra, he understands analysis, he understands the computer science, all these ideas, all these concepts that uh, are so clear to him and less clear to others. Alon's family sees the Shaw Prize as the logical progression of a long career. He and his wife, Nurit, met in kindergarten. I'm very proud that he received the show prize and he deserves it. And I know he deserved it because I've been with him along the way for many, many years. And I've seen that he's very devoted to his career, uh, like a uh, hundred percent. And uh, I think it's really nice to be recognized as a very good and the best one in your field. Daughter Nili studied math too. He would always ask me since I was a child like these riddles, like if you have uh, 24 oranges, how do you uh, divide them to six kids and stuff like that? <laughs> 
And uh, I actually never knew he was such a star. So only when I went to study math myself, when I was a student, I was walking in the university and I would hear people say, um, did you already say hi to Noga Alon? Or uh, people came to me and say, you're so lucky you're his daughter. Like then I realized he's actually a rock star. The family reckons the math talent will continue to pop up as the years go by, but that isn't what holds them together. I think it's all about love, and uh, it's about love that started like uh, 45 years ago, uh, or maybe 50 years ago, and it's still going on strong. So, math is very important, but love is the most important thing that is uh, all around us all the time. Isaac Newton went to Cambridge, but Oxford has its own list of mathematical legends. Haley, Powell, Penrose. For Professor Yehud Rosofsky, mathematics is a walk in the park, one where sometimes he gets some good ideas. Even if I'm running or, or walking or not even, especially when I'm doing that, I'm kind of struggling with it and trying to get it because it's fun, because the idea is there and in fact, it's not yet there, but I see that there must be something. I see a connection, and I cannot let it go. Roshovsky worked for many years at MIT and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem before moving to Oxford. His interest in math started early in his school years. On the one hand, in grade school, being very afraid of the multiplication table, I felt that I missed exactly the class where they taught seven times eight or something, and I was always very nervous about having to do that. But on the other hand, when we learned, we actually learned one proof, which was the proof of commutativity of multiplication. They drew a kind of rectangle, and they counted the corners, I guess. And I was absolutely fascinated by that, and I still remember it. He also remembers his father left a book about mathematics out for him to read. Still, he took a circuitous path to the science. I wanted to be a science fiction writer. So I thought, well, first I would learn some mathematics, then I would learn physics, and then I would be qualified to be a science fiction writer, which is what I want to be. I really thought of mathematics as a preparation for something else. I think it would probably be, I thought, well, I'm more interested in philosophy, maybe philosophy of language at that time. Uh, but it would be a good idea to know some mathematics. However, uh, I was captivated by the mathematics. Colleagues say Roshofsky's signature work in model theory, a relatively young branch of mathematical logic, brought the obscure field to the attention of the science as a whole, using unique tools. Before his work, most other mathematicians didn't know anything about model theory. In fact, practitioners of the branches of model theory, the theoretical and the applied, didn't know or understand what the other branches were doing, until Roshofsky. I think he was the sort of the father, if you want, of unifying our subject, so that people realized that it was in different directions, okay? That the pure part and the applied part were really aspects of one subject and should unify and then people started to talk to each other and that was very important for our subject so this means he actually changed our subject changed the way other mathematicians looked at our subject in these applications of model theory to to a number of other areas he's really forged new connections uh, notably with algebraic geometry and additive combinatorics, but also other areas. And the, the, the flow of ideas somehow backwards and forwards really boosts the vitality of mathematics overall. Our two Israeli laureates demonstrate the depth of talent in the country's mathematics community, a fact that has long roots in the country's short history. It was a huge uh... Russian immigration uh, that was a, so there was a big wave in the 70s, but an even bigger wave in the beginning of the 90s. And traditionally, Russia was very uh, strong in, uh, in mathematics and maybe specifically uh, Jewish people in Russia, uh, a lot of them were doing mathematics uh, 
possibly partly because they uh, couldn't go into more practical sciences. In the Hebrew University, I, there was a fantastic atmosphere. There was a very friendly atmosphere. Uh, people were very open, people were very interested in each other's work. And it's very common to have people go to many, many seminars in many different uh, subjects.